Okay, welcome back. Um, in this lesson, we're gonna go a little bit deeper into keyed instance. Uh, it was covered in a prior video, but here we're gonna just go and explain a little bit further how it works and what the issues are if we don't use it. So this is keyed instance in practice. Uh, before we begin, just to recap, keyed instance is when we establish a hub key at the same grain as a relationship that already exists. And this would only be applicable in cases where uh, the only place in the model where that level of grain exists is in the link itself, and we need to do something with it. In that case, we now need to look at a keyed instance hub. Let's go take a look at the board. Okay, so in this example here, we have uh, a typical um, sale with a store, customer, and employee. And as we did in a previous model, this employee also happens to be a customer. That's just a separate relationship. The sale has a relationship to the products and there's more than one product on the sale. So we may now be interested in providing some context to help describe this relationship. So let's take a look at what that would be like. What's happened here is we've now said there's a quantity and a discount associated with an individual product on the sale. So it's not a quantity or discount that has anything to do with the sale itself or with just a listing of a product, but it's referring to the particular instance of one of the products on the sale. A couple of other things may also happen. Okay, so what's happened here is we've now had a complaint about one of the products on the sale. That makes sense. We're not complaining about the sale itself. We're generally happy. We're not complaining about the product. The product was good, normally is. But just in this particular sale, in this particular day, the product had a problem. So in this case, we have a, a relationship to the instance of one product on here. Same thing for delivery. It was a product that wasn't available, and so it had to be backordered and delivered but it wasn't the entire sale, it was just one of the products on the sale. So you can see what's happened here now is we end up with a link to link to link or continues on from here on out relationship. And we also have a satellite describing a link. And in these cases, as with ensemble models, this will vastly uh, impede our ability to be agile as we move forward. Re-engineering will often now be, be required. As you can imagine, there could also be something having to do with the instance of a complaint on a line or the delivery for a particular line. Maybe in the case of the delivery for the particular line, something was damaged or whatever. Uh, in this case, uh, you can see how this would just branch out and become a very messy model and difficult to maintain. So let's go back to the way we'd like to see it. So in this case now we can see by adding the keyed instance for the line item, this represents the same granularity, the same level of records as we have here. This line item now says, I am one of those products on the sale. And oh, by the way now, if this one item that I am on the sale needs to be delivered, here's a hub link hub relationship. If there's a complaint about one of those items, it goes directly into the line item. And if I need to describe it because it had a quantity, there was three Cokes that were purchased, not one, or I gave you a discount, that now is describing the instance of one of those records in the link, again, a keyed instance. Let's go back to the slides. Okay, so we took a quick look at keyed instance in practice, and as we ended up with last time, where we wanna be when we're done is a model that includes a line item in this case, so that we can continue to expand the model in increments in an agile way without ending up getting outside our pattern. So hope this was helpful. We'll see you in the next lesson.